Then let's go ahead and do a couple more review questions. Let me ask you this. Before working on electrical equipment, what must you do? If you're going to work on a piece of electrical equipment, what should be the first thing that you're going to do? That would be to test it with a good working meter. Test it with a good working meter so that you know that that circuit is hot or it is not. Now let me ask you this other question. How can you make sure your meter is working properly? How can you make sure that your meter is working okay? Well, what you should do is to test it on a known live circuit. You test it on a circuit that has a lamp plugged in and the light is on. Test it on a circuit where the radio is plugged in and is working. You know that circuit is hot. You test it, then you will know whether your meter is working properly or not. Now, if you get shocked, which part of your body might not know what to do and completely stop? We talked about this. What part is that? Well, your heart. Your heart gets electrical signals and it knows when to pump. Well, if you get shocked, the electrical signals might get disrupted. And when that happens, your heart will not know what to do and it will stop. So you must be very, very careful. The other thing is that people say that it is okay to wear jewelry while at work. Is that true or is that false? What do you think? Well, you should never wear jewelry while working on electrical equipment or moving machinery. The jewelry could get you get shocked or if you are wearing jewelry, it could get caught in machinery and you could get pulled into the piece of equipment. So my suggestion is to not wear jewelry while at work. Now what is the one thing all electrical power tools must have in order to be safe? What should they have? They should have a ground. The third prong is there for a ground. And the ground is there of course for your safety. It will redirect the electrical energy to ground so that you will not get shocked and that you will be safe. Now given a choice, one should choose a 110 volt drill or a battery operator drill. Which one would you choose? Well, I myself, I would choose a battery operated drill. They're safer because of the lower voltage that the motor uses. The motor is only going to use 18 volts or maybe 24 volts. It's a lot lower than 110. So that's the way you should go. Okay, let's move on.